Hi, and welcome to Coffee and Tea in the Garden. If you look really close over there, you're going to see a little trickling fountain. My husband is like so good at making beauty in this garden. But just like sometimes you don't notice the, um, the things that God is doing in your life or the purpose that he has for each thing that you're walking through. Sometimes I don't notice that the fountain is there. And then I see it trickling and I remember and I enjoy the beauty. Sometimes when it's really quiet out, you can hear it gurgling up. But it's, it's just a little fountain, but it's beautiful and the birds and the cats both enjoy it. So what's my point there? When you're reading the Bible and you're praying or when you're just walking through life and wondering why something is happening the way it is, Look around you for the little gurgle of water. Look for that blessing from the Holy Spirit, the guidance from the Holy Spirit, or just plain direction in His Word that shows you the clues that you're looking for the answers to. In Matthew 7, it talks about um, basically not giving up, but seeking God, trusting God, believing when we pray to Him, that we will get an answer. Now sometimes that answer is not what we're looking for. Sometimes it's something else. But really God knows best and overall even when it's really difficult to live through, we need to remember that that God knows best. And when I think about it, I think about Jesus on the you know the the prayers when he prayed and he asked God to if he could take his, this cup from him, and yet, nevertheless, thy will be done. When I think of the people that I pray for that I don't see the answers to, I think about that as well. Nevertheless, his will be done. And just like this little fountain, sprinkling up in beauty, the answers will come the way that God planned for it. We may not understand it now, but I believe either here or in the after, we will know. In Jesus' name. See you next time.